Let's go to the man. Welcome back to Evil Genius. I'm near my today, gentlemen. Well, before I'm gonna start, before we're gonna return back to Zyka's base, there's one thing I want to address. If you're gonna load up your game right now, well, actually, this thing is already available for the past few days, and you're gonna go into enable the DLC. Oh, would you look at that? You can now load the DLCs. Previously, which was super fucking annoying, developers just saying you don't do shit like this. If you wanted to load the DLC, you had to start a new game. Now, this is no longer uh, like unnecessary. You just click this thing, and there you go. The DLC is activated. So, we did the Cabal once. I don't want to. F I don't want him to show up, at least for now. Like, I don't want him for Zyka. But I want to have the new items in game. They're gonna be fun. So, yeah, sure. Let's load the game. And, well, do some evil. Oh, how glorious! Complete research project, manufacture magnetic tape. Yeah, we're gonna do that thing eventually. I'm actually, I think I'm actually doing that thing. Probably, I'm doing something. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing something around here. So what are those new items, you may ask? It's a bloody good question. Uh, let's see. A column, ooh. Anti-gravity technology was invented by Zaka for a school fair and she could find no better use for it. Hey! I would love to have myself some good old columns around in my <laughs> main room. <laughs> and what the heck is this thing? Inner sectum door. Ooh. The door features the finest uh, recognition technology. It also compensates for Zyka's helmet. <laughs> so yeah, basically, if you don't know, uh, the new items uh, give you like a bunch of very cool ass things for the, for your actual base. So you can make your base look even more personal and well. <laughs> Deadly. That's exactly the thing I want. What the heck is this? The big screen. Honestly, it looks like a gigantic portal, if you ask me. I'm just saying that this thing's like a portal, okay? I'm, I'm a bit busy right now. Thank you, game. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, I want to add those columns somewhere. Hmm. Over here? Is this actually a good idea? One, two. One, two. Yeah, sure, why not? Actually, hold on a second. I'm gonna rotate those things a little bit. Okay, actually, that's a good idea because the... Uh, the sigil, I guess, is on the side, like this. So, yeah, this should look like a lot better. And make sure that you're gonna copy that sigil a few more times. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay, one over here. And let's slap one more on the opposite side of the room because for reasons. Nice. Okay, that thing I can actually stay over there. Later on, we have to remove some of those, but that's not a problem. Sure. Very nice. Very nice. What trap? What? Oh. Really? Like, like really? So, also, the new uh, items for your layer are... Th this is something I think should be actually in the, in the main game, like in the base game. You basically have advanced bedding for, for your minions. And by those, I mean that you have specific beds for the specific minions. So, for example, I got, I got a, a barracks here for my deception minions, right? And a lot of times, I get minions over here that are not supposed to be in this room. So, one of the ways to force the right minions is to make them, like, appropriate kitchen over here and tell the chief at the kitchen to serve only the deception minions. But this is another way to, uh, like, block certain minions from accessing parts of the base that you don't want them to be in. I mean, as I said, in my opinion, this should actually be in the base game. But okay, let's just roll with it, shall we? So we got a separate bed for the deception minions, separate bed for the science minions, separate bed for the muscle minions. <laughs> yeah, it, it, this is gonna be a nice wake up when this thing, uh, like, falls on your face. Just when you're about to wake up. And then you have a bed for the workers. Not enough fine, fine. Your oh, come on, man. It's a matter of time, as they say. Okay, what else we have over here? Uh, any new items over here? No, I don't think so. Any new items over here, maybe? Uh, what the heck is this thing? After hard day fighting agents... Oh, morale boost. Well, that's nice. What else do we have over here? Uh... Basic training. Okay, those are the items I get from... Oh, muscle minion smarts. Oh, that's nice. Okay, is there actually... Hmm. 
I don't think there's anything new regarding over here. Scanotron. Bombard your minion, your muscle minions with friendly radiation, causing them to mute it and regenerate vitality for a short time. Suspicion soldier. Oh, this is from the DLC actually? Really? Temporarily boost your minions vitality by spraying them with vitamins. Oh my god, they actually added a bunch of items. Okay, nothing new over here. Nothing new in this section. What about this? Okay, nothing new over here, that's for sure. So that's why I don't remember this, this item. It's basically from the DLC. Okay, so this is, this is definitely a new one. And uh, what about those? This is the standard one, standard one. This is a new one. Improve minion smarts by surrounding them with thousands of facts and only a few hundred in incarnations. <laughs> okay, this one is from the base game and this one is also... Those documentaries get minions thinking. We also be left with a smart regeneration effect. Is it just me or those things are actually super fucking overpowered? Like tremendously fucking overpowered, man. What the hell? And those are also new items. Temporarily boosts your minions vitality by spraying them with vitamins. Bombards your muscle minions with friendly radiation. <laughs> with friendly <laughs> radiation. <laughs> really? Like, like, really game? Okay, what type of room is, okay, is, is this one. Okay. So building this thing closer to your barracks is actually a really good idea. So let's redo a little bit the infirmary that I have over here. Oh yeah. This is gonna, this is gonna be awesome. Hell yeah, baby. Okay, destroy those. Very nice. I want to add some decor here, boy. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be awesome. I really like the new items, man. I really like the new items. I'm still calling it a bit of a bullshit. The way they implemented in into the game, but well, you know, you want to make your game look more pretty? You want your base to look more awesome? Yeah. You get the idea. Boost vitality of your minions. Sure, why not? I'm a big fan of vitality, boy. And I'm just gonna have to make some room around here. Because, well, how to put it? It's a bit tight. That's what she said. Shut up. I fucking know. Okay, those things can stand over there. And... Hmm... Can I do something like this? Oh hell yeah, baby! <laughs> now this is what I call an advanced has been infamy. Oh yeah, sure. Let's add the radioactive barrels next to this thing. Has been yeah, it's a friendly radioactive shake. Trust me, it's good treated. stuff. It's tremendously good stuff. Okay, I want to see what other items we actually have over here. Oh, vault door. Origin called the walnut because it's very tough to crack and places a bit of a wall. <laughs> okay. It's the most expensive door in the entire game. And apparently you can only build it next to the wall. Vault. Vault. What did I say a vault? I don't know what, what type of a ward is a vault. But okay, whatever. Sure. I want to I want this thing in my life. Hell yeah! <laughs> Good luck cracking for that thing! Dip shits. <laughs> what else? What else? What else? What else? I want to fee see what else we have. Communication. Okay, those are new items. Uh, advanced computer. Minions working here generate the intel required to run your global operations. By organizing your networks more efficiently, this minions can increase you. scheme incomes. Scheme? You mean like this thing? No, that's intel. Wait, what do you mean scheme? Oh, it increases... It increases money income. Okay. This is a base item game. And same goes for this thing. Okay. Right, so this one... This one's like the basic uh, radio repeater. That, because it gives you the broadcast strength. But also as a side effect in increases income to your base. That actually is an interesting idea. I wonder. Hmm. I wonder what the game actually tell me on the on the world map how much more money I'm gonna make out of it. But I like this idea. 
Uh, increases Intel generation. Okay, this computer is a lot bigger than the standard one that we are using. So hold on a second. Can you actually squeeze this thing in? Intel requires for global operations. Wow, this thing is huge. Holy shit. That was that she said. Um, okay, cannot really build it over here. Can I build it on this next floor? Not really. Hmm. Computer array. Generates Intel. It doesn't say how much it generates though. And apparently the prison blocks also got some love. Holding cell. Unpleasant holding cell. Breaks the prisoners resolve more quickly by replacing the match us with one of the minions have already worn out. <laughs> okay. Secured holding cell. No one can escape without a quick time or preparation. Comes with a camera that informs your minions when someone manage manages it. Really? Oh, it actually takes a camera slot. Wow. Wow. Okay. Sure. Prison door. Soundproof, but not for the reason you think. Too many prisoners overheard the minions' conversations. Hmm. Well, that's actually a good idea. Okay. Sure, I want to get some of those... Those cell blocks. Because why not, right? I mean, they look awesome. So why not? And we're gonna replace the laser doors that I have all over the place with actual prison doors. There they go. Hell yeah, baby! Now this is awesome! Ha! <laughs> I like where this week is going. Uh, what else we have? The vault, control room. Okay, no, no new doors over here. Training. Nothing new over here, I believe. Yeah, nothing new. Uh, laboratory. Oh, wait. Lab door. Behind the door, the mysteries of the universe are ignored in favor of finding better weapons and more painful traps. Hey! That's gonna fit so nicely to Zyka's uh, personal laboratory. Okay. That, that, that can work. Decor. I think we already had that one, so thank you again for that. Alright, what else we have? Armory. Oh. Oh! A trap has been triggered. Well, a bunch of new items as well. Okay. Target practice. Your minions are free to waste ammunition in the name of improving their overall range damage. Minions can learn about the various different disguises the forces of justice employ. Improves their spotting power. Increases your minions melee yeah. damage by getting them to punch an even bigger punching pack. Comes with a short range camera that has a bonus against disguises. Okay. So basically, your minions that are normally sitting in the armory and waiting for something to happen can actually be now more useful. Oh, and there's a camera. Oh. Oh. I should probably arrange my. You know. My, my armory over here. Well, this, this could come in handy. Very, very handy. Minus Actum Godador, of course. And... The Casino. Do you have anything new for the Casino? Sadly, no. Okay, I can I can work Small with this. Has the the fuck is this thing? 360 degree camera. Allows minions operating security desks to spot intruders and let any muscle the minions using like a guard intriguing. table in the armory. Oh. Okay, so you got yourself a new type of a camera as well. Okay. And that's actually it when it comes to new items. So, you know, they add a bit of a variety. I I can't say they're like necessary for the actual game to like for you to win. But they can make some very interesting improvements for you later. So yeah, as I was saying, uh the new items, well, they're nice to have. Those are those are actually the standard items. Those are the new items. Hell yeah. I actually wonder how those things work. Can we force some minions to use those things? Probably we can't. Uh, how are the beds? The special beds? Let's see, where are... Oh, yeah. Well, those are really nice. Holy shit. They're purple! <laughs> They're purple, man! Oh, and the vault door. Wait, I think I've built it on the... I've built it at... Uh... 
You're supposed to go this way. A slight mistake have been made. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Interesting concept for a door. Zaika, you have to admit. The columns are moving, boys. And yeah, obviously, every single one of the super villains is gonna get their own super door. So, you know, that's, that's nice. Uh, okay, I think this is... It doesn't exactly match the surroundings, but okay. This is also one of the new items. Uh, let's see what else we have. Oh, yeah. Wow, this is nice. Very, very nice indeed. This is like multiplayer co-op thingy. That's beautiful. And you got like those things over here for the paintings. Uh, the gaming sections. You know, you want to play some Warzone, boys? You want to play some global domination? Or maybe you want to play the best game around? Evil Genius 2! Uh, what else we have? Uh, let's see. Let's let's take a look at that. Let's 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 enjoy the Oh yeah, I forgot about the armory. I, I should have built some stuff over here. I did forgotten about that thing. Okay. So let's increase the size of this thing. Always wanted to increase the size of this thing. And now let's see. They want to go over here as well? Yeah, I could make like a separate little room. Not yeah, like that's that's nice. Shut up, game! It's a matter of time! Okay, so there's no point of me having a camera over here, right? Or is it? Because with the new super fancy desk, security checkpoint comes with a short range camera that has a bonus against disguises. This could become very, Not very handy indeed. To complete this construction. Oh, give it some time. Okay, um, weapon. I think I'm gonna move the pistol racks. In this little tiny room over here. That's gonna be the little armory thingy section. Uh, okay, have to move this thing a little bit around. Like such. Oh, I just screwed up something. Well, that's you. Hmm, I cannot really increase the size of this thing over here. Okay, let's do like something like this. It should be fine either way. Uh, armory. Okay, and then we got the. Oh! In the shooting range. I. You know what? If I could move those things around. Or maybe remove this thing. Or like remove one of the items. Uh, one of the rooms around it. And increase the armory size. And actually add some more fancy stuff. Yeah, that. That could actually be great. Oh, we got some volunteers, boys! <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, sure! Bombastic Muscle Muse with friendly radiation. Yeah, you wanted a trip to Chernobyl maybe at some point in your lives? Because that, that thing will longer be necessary, that's for sure. Uh, you know that we actually need those Muscle Minions? Like, can you release them? Please? <laughs> is this supposed to be some type of a reference to the uh, to the super minion from the previous game? The uh, I forgot how you call that thing. The the Hulk, the gigantic Hulk brain wit, probably. At this point, I honestly don't remember. But that's that's nice. I redid the armory as you can see over here. Now it's way more fancier than it used to be. Yes. It is a beautiful, beautiful room indeed. Okay, you guys are done? Oh, okay. So what, you can now see through walls? You actually got some buffs. Nice. Okay, I can I can work with this. Why not? Why not? I mean, like, what's the worst that could possibly happen, right? So, you put those stations for your muscle minions right next to your armory when they all sit up and train and prepare for the upcoming battles. Oh yeah! Oh my god! He lost some bolts over there! Terrifying! This shape of my muscle minions! It is terrifying indeed! And it is glorious! Very, very glorious! So now this guy is shooting over here. Well fed, no, no. So this guy actually has already three buffs. Run from the kitchen because he ate, he ate the food that was actually for the muscle minions. 
Uh, then he went to the to the infirmary to get some buffs. Those two actually. I wonder if we could get another buff from shooting over there. Maybe? Okay, I, I want to actually witness this thing. I want to see him grow in power. More power. That's for sure. Yep, yeah, he got another buff. Use increased range damage. Okay. Right. Show minion in manager. Oh yeah, we actually got this thing over here. Wait, what the heck? Card table? A trap has been triggered. Uh, is this supposed to show you what the minion is capable like of doing? Yeah, I think so. Well, that's nice. Like this can actually help you, you know, this can actually help you around with uh, like, technically speaking, air quotes, assigning your minions to specific rooms. That's that's nice. <laughs> oh yeah. Do you guys want a bit of a radiation? Because we are scanning everything. Everything is getting scanned over there. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the uh, bonus items DLC. As I say, those things are not necessary for you to have a good time. Like, let's say, unlock, un unlocking Eno, if you played Eno and if you watched uh, me playing Eno on the channel, you know that there are some DLCs that actually add so much to the game that you you see they are uh, a quality of life improvement, right? They should be in the base game because some of them are so overpowered that this is just so ridiculous. This DLC, I'm not saying it's a cool idea because I they probably removed some of the items that were supposed to be in the base game and they added it as a DLC, I think. That's how it looks like. But the thing is that those items, those those a those furniture items, are not, like, mandatory. You can completely go play through the game and have a glorious time without having those th this DLC. I mean, sure, if you like building your base, if you want to make your base look even more fancier than before, then this is one way to actually accomplish this. Uh, but if you don't feel like it, well, then just don't get it. But in my opinion, if you enjoyed Evil Genius 2 and you basically want to finish the game as all four of the Evil Geniuses, then I highly recommend you uh, that you're gonna get the DLC because it's just gonna add a variety of things that you can build around in your layer and make it look, well, more personal, make it look more fancy and, well, will you regret it? Well, as it comes to all DLCs, probably. But anyway, I'm rambling too much, so for now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna do this thing as obvious. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, like, and subscribe a lot. I'll see you in the next video.